What up, savages? We're back. Great awakening, and it's getting it's getting crazy in this crypto world. Actually, it's not. It may seem like it, but you have to know what's going on behind the scenes. Um, there are people, you know, trading secrets. You call it insider information, whatever you call it. You know, I I get information, but there's probably someone. That gets the information before me or people like me pre pre info and they make their moves and they probably you know sold all their coins went to tether and then when this dip came they bought back in and they're going to go back up so just know just because you are where you're at everyone's not where you're at there's some people winning making billions and billions off of these dips in the market okay what am i talking about today all right, so this is super Bitcoin. Let's go to where it all started. <laughs> it didn't all start here, but Bitcoin, as we know it, today is ten thousand dollars. So, for this video, what I want to break down or want to build up and show you is how Bitcoin, you know, may not possibly be always in the lead, may not always be the leader, and what's happening to these Bitcoin forks. I would recommend you treat Bitcoin like a, a staking coin. So if you have Bitcoin, put one, uh, I'm, I don't know how much you have, but put half a Bitcoin or a 4.01 4 Bitcoins on all the exchanges that you use. Actually, put it on Binance, HitBTC, uh, Gate.io, Cos, and Cryptopia. You just put Bitcoin on all of them. So when it forks, you get that fork coin, even Bitrix, you get that fork coin. But you have money there to spend in times like this. So you want money already there. You're not scrambling. I got to get money on there. I got to sell this. No. You want money already on there. So when it dips and goes deep red, you're ready to buy up everything. Uh, so you can keep money in Bitcoin and Tether. And when things like this happen, you're ready. Write down that note. Write it down. Uh, let's keep going. So that's your first note. Have money sitting in Bitcoin and Tether at all times. Okay, so let's what's going on with Bitcoin? So Bitcoin, you go to the blockchain, you see how many transactions per day? Three hundred thousand. Now they they also let you check. Whoa, <laughs> they let you check unconfirmed transactions. Look at it; it's just building up. Sometimes, well, a lot of times, Bitcoin gets backed up. Unconfirmed transactions: one hundred and seventy thousand. Live updating list of new Bitcoin transactions. Status connected. Uh, yeah, so you see. These are the transactions coming in. They, they're still unconfirmed, but essentially you get to the point of six confirmations. You know, as I think it takes about an hour, 10 minutes per uh, confirmation per block. But you see the audit, you see the totals coming in, you know, different amounts. Three, four Bitcoin just went by 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Whoa, that was a big one. 41 Bitcoins just went, whoa. And then you can click on these addresses to see where it's coming. So that's that's the public ledger right there. Use Mac to scroll around, see what's going on. Live up. There's a lot going on over here. All right. Okay, so that's Bitcoin. That's the live blockchain. So now let's look at these forks. Let's really go to Bitcoin Cash. That was the first fork, wasn't it? The first one we all know of. $1,500. Let's look at the chart. It came out $450. Went down. I mean, you could say it tanked. Went, it went in half to 298, shot back up, then went down again. Then shot all the way up here and went down again, but not that far down. Then went all the way up here and tr that was all the way, way down here. Now, Bitcoin Cash, you're like, oh, it's just a fork. It means nothing. No, you have to go. You have to do your research. Go to the website. This is BitcoinCash.org. It's an organization. Now, let's see. Best money in the world. All right, scalability. Bitcoin Cash follows the Nakamoto roadmap of global adoption with on-chain scaling. All right, so look, it says, let me see, future shines brightly. Now, as Bitcoin holders at this block, there are also owners of Bitcoin Cash. So it's like, <clears throat> kind of like a stake. You got airdropped this Bitcoin Cash. All are welcome to join. And they're creating a community. It's all about community, which is beautiful. Now, listen, you can check here for the nodes. Check here, see what wallets are compatible. And let's keep going down. This, because this is what stuck, 
stuck out to me is the projects they got going on. Let's look at Bitcoin Cash Fund, a community-driven grassroots grassroots project to accelerate the adoption of Bitcoin Cash. So they have different projects in place to help. What am I getting payments or something? What is? <laughs> uh, yeah, they have all these projects. They're on all of these exchanges. The reason being because of Bitcoin, and because who's helping? Frequently asked. Fully decentralized, no central bank requires no trusted third parties to operate. Is Bitcoin Cash different? From Bitcoin, yes, it can. It's a continuation of Bitcoin. It's a fork on the ledger, upgraded consensus rules that allow it to grow and scale. All right, so these are all answering questions about about what's going on with Bitcoin Cash. And it's a ticker system. So just looking at, you can even go to the the uh, Reddit and they have a Facebook. So there's a community here. And you can see what they're building, what their purpose is, why they're doing what they're doing, why they're doing what they're doing, which is truly important. The reason I'm telling you this is to show you how if one day you wake up and Bitcoin's not number one, this is the reason why. Now, you want to invest in projects that have a community, a strong community. I showed you in my other video, strong community, and they're seeking to solve something or mass adoption. And that's key, mass adoption. So now let's go to the other fork. Bitcoin Gold $164 fork came out at $500. Everyone sold it off, dipped down to $150. Shop, shop back up $400, dipped back down to $130. Now it's, it was cruising at two. Now it slowly went down. What's going on with Bitcoin Gold? Jack Lau, look at this founder in China. You have to think, why would they do these forks? Why are, why is this whole team taking over a fork of Bitcoin? Because they built this, they're building a community, an ecosystem, where they say, you know what? We have better ways of doing it than Bitcoin. So you see the team here. It's a strong team, too. Come check out this team, the ecosystem. I recommend. I know you, you might not have the money to buy a Bitcoin, but buy one Bitcoin gold. Buy one super Bitcoin. Look at them. They're on all the exchanges. The wallets, they got the pools, they got these explorers. It's like, <coughs> let me see. It's it's just a slam dunk with these forks, and the reason why you can win with these forks, they even have a Discord. Oh, cool! I will be joining that Discord as well. See that doing this live? You got to join these. You have to join these. Let's, let's go inside the Discord. Let's see what's going on. This is why you, <coughs> you want to join the Discord. You see announcements. The developers are in here. Frequently asked questions. General trading. Get activity. Mining suggestions. Cool. So you get help right here. In, let me see. Online, 275 people. That's cool. Got cross wires. You got the staff right here. So you, you see firsthand that this coin is being managed. There's a, a, a community being built in a around something all right so let's keep keep it moving keep it moving we got the features we got the team decentralization fair distribution go back to, the, to those features real protection transparency all right cool so let's see so look they show you what compared to each other you got segwit replay protection unique address format block size all of them 10 minutes that's just too long for me. 10 minutes. We got to get these 10 minutes down. I need a second. <laughs> I need 10 seconds. But you see they're trying to improve on each other. Which is good. You know, they're improving on each other. So I would say buy a Bitcoin gold if you can. Not F. Buy it. Now let's go over to Super Bitcoin. So Super Bitcoin, $66. Came out at $364. Took a dip. Now it's just, try, it looks like it's dying. But look who's in charge of Lee. Lee Zhao Lai. He's on LinkedIn. You got Jiaping Lin. You got Ranger Shi. They, they are all. They don't look like they're in this just to play games. <laughs> what is Super Bitcoin? The expansion war over the past three years has severely hindered the development of the Bitcoin technology. Bitcoin has lost a tremendous share of the cryptocurrency market due to aggressive competition coming from the likes of Ethereum and Zcash. They're like, no, our Bitcoin, Ethereum is coming in and messing it up for everyone. Zcash, the Bitcoin community, has therefore gathered a group of enthusi enthusiasts 
and developers who shared the goal of revitalizing Bitcoin dominance. That's interesting. The fork will take place at this block, after which new functionalities will be added to the fork chain. Original Bitcoin holders will be compensated with one and two. So see, that's the staking right there. Now, why get into Super Bitcoin? You got the roadmap right here. Let's see. Embed smart contracts, improve scalability, incorporate zero knowledge, remove dynamic checkpoint protection. All right, you got the team, you got support and resources. So this, let's just go to his LinkedIn. Let's go see what's what's going on. Investor explains a lot right there. Investor highlights Bitcoin one mutual the mutual group. He is the founder of N Blockchain Inc. Hmm. Do you do any of you know what that is? <laughs> Definitely go deeper. Look it up. Let's go. Here's the thing. Results for in blockchain ink search instead. In blockchain ink. Here are the people. You got Valerie Wang. Hmm. You got Peter Wu. So if you haven't been to China, if you haven't been over there, you will see that Bitcoin is it's everywhere. They're trading, they're buying, they're using it. Like it's it's running rampant in the streets. America was still we're not even on that level right now. Actually, I'm gonna connect with yes yeah, send that now so we're not even on that level but if you the deeper you go you can see how these forks of bitcoin a year two years three years from now will all they will either where's bitcoin cash they're going to get on the level of bitcoin cash or surpass it bitcoin cash like i said came out at five hundred dollars super bitcoin came out at four or five four hundred dollars now, Bitcoin Cash, they had more time to develop, and that's why we're up to a thousand dollars. And but these are right along. And check out the other forks. So, I want you all to do your homework. I'm doing my homework. I'm bringing you this information. Uh, I don't know if anyone else. There's a few other people that's bringing information like this, but not the not the masses, not the majority. They don't even know about this this side of what's going on. You have to dig deep, dig deeper. So if you want to play the Bitcoin game, just use Bitcoin on the exchanges, get those forks, and then buy the fork coins. Outside of that, let's go back to the market. Outside of that, Ethereum is silver. So well, yeah, holding strong at a dollar. Cardano, fifty cents. Like, look, go scoop up some Litecoin. I mean, you. This is common sense. I'm not even telling you anything new. You already know when Litecoin goes down, you can go scoop some up. You can scoop some up at 161 right now. Neo's holding strong at 115. Iota is 50% off. Go grab some Iota. I got the Binance link below. If you need to buy it, just sign up with Binance. You can get your Iota. Monero's down. Tron's down. Bitcoin Gold's down. Ethereum Classic, uh, it used to be $11. But you can list Lisk used to be five dollars. Tethers, see, tethers always a dollar. For the most part, uh, it's pegged at a dollar for the most part. See a coin, four cents. Buy, look at V chain, it's still four dollars. Bitcoin back to half a penny. Smart cash a dollar. Dodge coin half a penny. So, Dragon Chain's fifty percent off. Go grab some Jack Dragon Chain. Oh, I believe that's on Gate.io. Yeah, Komodo, 50% off. Salt, 50% off. Go grab these two right now. Just grab 10 of them. 10, that's what, 70 bucks. That's 40 bucks. 150 bucks. Go do it right now. Write, write it down. Denticoin. See, Denticoin, they still have to prove themselves. Uh, they, they're starting to, but, oh, gas is 50% off. Pivix, 50% off. Go grab some Pivix. Loop Brain. Bit. Basic attention token. So you can just go down the list. Dent is three cents. You can just go down this list and go shop it. Rack up. Fun fair, seven cents. Eternity, dollar thirty six. Uh Mona coins just holding at five dollars. You got red coins, fraction of a penny. Look at med. Go grab some med. Uh, game credits. Go grab game credits. Oh, Bitcore. Look at Bitcore. Still holding strong. Actually, Bitcore is going up. And I can actually claim my Bitcore 
If you all saw my earlier videos, you can get BitCore, 